subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. And I've argued in the pieces I've written after the incident that that cool-headed thinking is the need of the hour because a reincarnated battlefront with China cannot really be blindly embraced, however much national pride and prestige are at stake. So the implications of the choices that we make now, uh, when I say that the calculus of relations has been disturbed, have to be carefully assessed. We need, obviously, strong political direction, a mature and responsible deliberation, and very coherent thinking, because only these can be the keys to the handling of the, of the situation. Lots of people have tried, and, and all of us included, have tried to understand what the reasons for recent Chinese behavior are concerned. Everybody, of course, uses the terms muscularity and assertiveness as attributions for recent uh, Chinese behavior. Some say it's reactive assert assertiveness, some say it's insecure assertiveness, some say it's imperious assertiveness. Uh, probably it's a combination of all these things. But two facts are certain. The Chinese uh, void by their military and logistic and infrastructure resources and an opportunistic foreign and security policy, which has more than a leavening of, of uh, expansionism, uh, are going ahead uh, ostensibly in the defense of their national sovereignty to show a very muscular attitude in reinforcing, as far as we are concerned, the line of actual control, their claimed line of actual control in the India-China border areas, particularly in the western sector of the border.